Nice guys like that are creepy. But exact see, I was always polite and nice, but I was hold or I was I was You were harboring. I was hard I was I was I had a hidden agenda. Yeah. I had a little something in my pocket here. It was probably not like I wasn't being upfront about my desire with a woman. And when I got clear that I could have a desire and that I could be a man desiring a woman and I could be clear about that desire without being creepy and allow that to be energetic rather than what I said. So I wouldn't say to her, oh, I'm so turned on by you, baby, blah, blah, blah. But rather I would look at look at her in the eye and I would begin to be present with her and I would start to ask her questions about herself. Who are you? Who are you in this world? And find out a little bit more about that person. So rather than trying to find out what kind of panties she was wearing, I was trying to find out what kind of life she was living. And I was interested, but I still had that desire. Believe you me, still I still wanted love to know about her panties. I, I don't still wear like them. Panties. It's too bad. Lori doesn't wear panties. <laughs> I, <love it>. so, <laughs> I hate panties. <laughs> The, 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 the goal, the, my purpose for saying this is because it's sometimes it's not, you're not aware that you're actually being creepy. You're not aware that you're hiding your real intention or maybe your desire and you feel ashamed of having the desire or ashamed right. of having the Shame. attention. Shame is what causes us as men to feel creepy. Now, one of the things that I do with women is I will actually say to them, I'll say, listen, I apologize. Sometimes I get nervous around beautiful women and it comes across a little creepy because I want you to like me, but just know that I'm just a little nervous around you. Right. I know you said that to Alexa Martinez on her podcast. Stop. <laughs> Busted. 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 <laughs> I, was, Remember, I cracked I, I, up. I say that to Alexa. Absolutely. Podcast She's too. so it's, adorable. And it was, and it was Super true. Cool. It was true. I meant it. <laughs> She's so cute. And, anyway. And, but I've said that to more, more women than just Alexa, Alexa Martinez. Right. Okay. So, um, but, but the plug is, for Alexa Martinez kaleidoscope. Oh yeah. A uh, big plug for, for the kaleidoscope. I'm going to tell her that we've met Jordan her. and, and yeah, we Alexa love you. And Jordan. Okay. Um, we appreciate you. And uh, all the work that you do. And but this is where I'm what I'm trying to get at is that, that men, you have to understand something, your desire. You got to be upfront about it. You got to be real and, and actually feel it and not try to push it behind you or try to hide it in your pocket or stuff it away. It, because what happens is that becomes a hidden agenda. It goes and women sideways. can experience that. So they feel it. They, they know intuitively that you're up to something you're trying to. Why do you think women are always saying men are trying to get in their panties because men are trying to get in their panties like that's a fact. But if men were just saying, I want to get in your panties, then they could go, yes, no, that's it. I'm sovereign. Right. Yes or no. Yes or no. Trying to makes it be sideways. And then the woman is like, oh, it's manipulative. Oh. It's, you know, it is. It's, it's and women coercive. get afraid. Yeah. It, it's what drives part of the Me Too movement because yeah. we're not being honest about it. And, and at the same time, if I if I'm honest about my desire for a woman and she says no, thank you, I've not violated her. Yeah. Like I haven't. I've I've said you know I'm interested in you. I'm very. I think you're very this that or the other. You're a sexy woman. I'd like to get to know you a little better. Um, who knows? Maybe we could get together for coffee. Whatever. That kind of thing right there. If I'm honest about my desire, she's not going to feel like I'm I'm hiding myself. Like I've got no hidden agenda. And if she says no, thank you, then I can say well, thank you. So you're saying that creates safety. It does. Okay, good. I say safety's an inside job. It is. So I say that women need to do the work to find their inner masculine. When they do the work to find their inner masculine and they find that there's a sword <laughs> that goes up and down their spine yeah. and they can draw the sword anytime they want and put it back in the sheath that goes down their spine, that the safety that they desire someone else to provide for them becomes their inner provision, something that they can provide themselves because they have found their masculine that wants to protect and wants to hold space without judgment. And they, they found that inside themselves. So it's both end. It's you talking about what men are about when men get creepy and they don't dis divulge their desire. And then it's 
women who rec- who are receiving the communication and who is their responsibility to be safe. Safety, like I walk down the streets in New York City. I walk down the streets in any city, anywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying, you know, I don't like ask for trouble. I, I did. There was a time. <laughs> <in my life. laughs> there was a time in my life where I asked for trouble, and luckily trouble didn't find me too much. Yeah. Um, I'm not an afraid person. I feel safe. I could get scared of certain things, but I basically feel safe. And so I could go down the street in any city, anywhere, and feel safe. Yeah. Because my safety is inside. If I don't feel safe, I don't go out. Right. You know, something that, that, um, that I got to experience, um, I've done quite a bit of work with, with Alison Armstrong. Right. And um, so what I'm about to share is something I got in one of her um her workshops and um it was this so she she went through and she asked men first you know how many of you men have um felt um you know uh fear fear for your life like you feared for your life let's say in the last year you know a handful of men a pretty good size Hardly. actually really it was a, it was a good group of men i wouldn't say half but a good group of men number of men raised their hands and um and and then she said you know how about in the last 6 months and less hands went up how about the last 3 months and you know the the hands began to whittle down and then she said you know how about the last week you know and almost no hands went but up but all the women's hands went up well let me tell the story <laughs> i know they did i know in advance so so here's what but for the benefit of the listener <laughs> the 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 opposite was true of women and and you probably already alluded but here was what was really interesting is that she said the same thing in reverse you know she said how many of you women have and, and have had um you know in the last year felt like you were you know feared for your life almost a hundred percent of the hands went up Mm -hmm. last six months still a huge huge number of women's hands went up last month the last week the last 24 hours in the last hour women's hands were still going up for for the most part i want men to get this for the most part women don't feel safe it's just culturally just like that it's just like that that's that's the opportunity i extend to you is to help women feel safe not just feel safe but how about this that they actually are safe they're safe around you they're safe by the fact that you're in the room right they're safe and they can you can actually help women be that and feel that um through your energy through being congruent with your desire and allowing yourself to be honest in every way in that scenario. And for women, you should know that there are knights and heroes uh, in in our world. Yay. And there are men who, like Lance and I, who are for you. And we 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 love you. We want you to be safe. So and that's so, what Lance. T- that's how Lance opened. Mm-hmm. He gave that woman space. Yeah. yeah. To be who she was in that in that process yeah, in that moment yeah yeah, yeah. and how did how did it turn out for her oh it was great it was great there was th- there, there was actually three uh it was three stations right so we went to mm-hmm. three different places and the second woman i had the same thing happen but hers was a little bit different um but it was very similar it was why do i feel this way why do i ha- why do i feel like i have to engage but she wanted to engage like she was like I want to. The first one didn't want to, but felt like she had to. The this second one, one felt like she had to second, and wanted to. Yes. It was, it was, mm. it was interesting. It was really trippy. <laughs> was really like me. what's a man to do? Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> what are we going to do here? Men are so confused these days. <laughs> navigate that one. Yeah. Men, are, men like don't, it. we give mixed I messages. It. I totally navigated it and I held space for both of them. It yeah. Was different, it was a different type of space, but I did it. But I, I, I want to go back to what, the the safety the inside job thing, yeah and yeah the the piece about creating safety like in the example you gave yeah talking to women at a bar I feel like I feel like that that creepiness that mm. that sidewaysness that you were talking about is is more of a internal presence factor for men yeah like actually having presence about who they are and what they're fucking doing in the good, world good good yeah. right that's good and it's and 
yes, it does create an external safety space and it doesn't create an external safety space, but because I agree with the safety as an inside job piece. Mm -hmm. And it's also safety for the men, but it's actually them not feeling safe in themselves because they can't express who they really authentically are, which is having desire. Yeah. So it's still an inside job for them in that in that same place. Right. So it it's like Lori said, it's both and and both. Yeah. Well, it's it's, it's, it's yes. We need look. We need both. I'm not I'm not shortcoming it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we need women to feel safe within themselves. Right. And we need men to provide that nightly absolutely safety. Absolutely. Yeah. But and women have the night inside of them, and men have the night inside of them. Right. Yeah. And we each of us have to provide it for our individual selves, and we have to provide it for each other. Hopefully, like, I want to yeah. feel safe with a woman. Like I've been around women that I don't feel safe with. Right. And it, I mean, it's true. It can go both ways. Isn't it interesting though? Because I feel like that in in those situations, you're dealing with someone who's incongruent. Yeah. You're dealing with someone who's got a hidden agenda or maybe a got they've got a something, whatever it is. I can't call it a hidden agenda, but they got a something that's just they're not they're it's not a hidden agenda. And it's incongruent with what you're experiencing. So imagine having sex with a woman incongruent like you could tell she's incongruent. Mm-hmm. She said yes. Yeah. But there's I something can't. I can't anymore. Right. There's something about yeah. this yes that I'm not so sure about. I with with my current lover, I can't. Like if she's a no, yep. even after what two, three years almost, yep. I know that yeah. she's a no. Like K N O N O. Thanks, I Simon. Love that. I no. We should have a T shirt. K N O No. And I can feel it. Total I, Simon move right keep there, going. bro. It's like it's not it yeah. doesn't feel right. And I got it. I stop, I check in, whatever it is. You know? Yeah, and the same thing for women. And when, when when women feel like they are uh they're saying yes, but there's something, there's a check, like in uh, I've said like a check in their body where they yeah. feel like oh, I'm not so sure about but they're saying yes, maybe because they don't want to hurt the guy's feelings, they kinda like him, whatever. Mm-hmm. Look, again, sovereignty is a key to safety. It's one of many keys, right? right? That sovereign piece where you trust your own no and you trust your own yes, that allows you to be the kind of person that can say yes or no and you know you're congruent, right? Yeah. And the other person can feel safe there. Can I say something? Please get in with it. Become unfuckable with. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> yes. yes. That's it. I mean, just I, become you know, unfuckable with. Become unfuckable with. Don't fuck with me. But not out of this angry, you know, people, I'm just going to say this, people misconstrue the goddess Kali. Mm. Like, Kali is unfuckable with. But people think, there are so, some women are so angry, they go, I'm Kali. No, Kali's not angry at all. Kali just knows what to do. She knows how to destroy what needs to be destroyed. She knows how to destroy ego and pride. She knows how to rob people of the things that are creepy and weird. But Kali's not at all angry. She's not angry at all. She's just doing her job, which is to cut away the parts of ego and the parts of pride that don't serve. So become unfuckable with and be your truth. Like just stand in your truth and no one really can mess with you. No yeah. one and you're safe. Love that. Oh, that's good. Love that. I that's think this really is a good. place for us to end. You yeah. think so? <laughs> <laughs> and again, we're talking that. about we in the context of all of this that we've been we've been talking about this. In in all of this, we started in our last podcast about talking about being extraordinary lovers. This this is what's required. This is yeah. so important to, to understand. Serious. Right. In being an extraordinary lover, you've got to work this stuff out. And so, again, being someone who's sovereign, right, you're not putting pressure on a person and you're not feeling pressured. You can say yes and you can say no. And then also someone who's congruent in in the ability to make others feel safe and to be safe yourself. And again, that's sovereignty. That's an inside job. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. You want to go ahead and wrap us up, Lori? Yeah, wrap us. Um, what a great show. It. You want to tie us up? Show. This is a great show. I'm not tying you up. 
This is a, I'll tie you both up. Uh-oh. I can tie your cocks up. I didn't bring all my rope. Wow. But I have, like, you can do it with shoelaces. I have, I, have, I, have some, I have some great rope for that exact thing. And